Welcome to another week on the farm. Um, last week I went through uh, feeding the animals, which uh, obviously quite a fun one. This week uh, I'm going to go through some of the less glamorous chores that are going on while we're while we're empty on the farm, but nonetheless things are, that need to happen. Anyway, I hope it's of some interest, but this is what we're up to in between looking after the animals while uh, while you're not able to be with us. Uh, we're inside Poles F Lodge this morning and Farmer Nick's just looking at the clocks on the wall. I'm um, giving them a bit of a clean over and turning them on because the clocks have changed and um, all the properties have still got clocks and timers at the wrong time. There it is, back on the wall. And then under the stairs is where all the timers are for the night stores coming on and off and everything else so that all needs fiddling around with that's the sound of our lawns being mowed by jed and he's doing a lovely job around all the uh, gardens at the moment it's usually my job in the summer but since he's home he's taken it on for me Uh, Farmer Nick gets to do the tractor mowing and I believe if I come back along here you'll see Mr Mole is still having a laugh on the train track down there there we go you can see where he's made a right mess of things but we follow the track round into the shed here I think I've got my eldest is working on the engine shed. So there, when you come inside, is the tray. And the shed itself is a bit of a pickle at the moment. It's got old bedrooms and things in here from when this was a property once upon a time. And as the eldest, Alistair is a carpenter, he's been charged with filling up all the gaps and uh, making doors and things to close it all off and turn it into an engine shed. It's going to look amazing if we can pull it off. We're going to do it in cream and British racing green and see if we can find some old signs. And uh, it's going to be quite a project, but I'm very excited about it. Window cleaning for the season is uh, another of the jobs that we've just got to get through. Um, this is uh, Ali, our eldest. He's on outdoor window cleaning, but not a bad job to be doing in the sunshine, I'd say. He seems to be a bit of an expert on it. That's uh, Farmer Nick, you can hear in the background as well. He's going off, um, I think they're putting gravel across the, uh, the top road at the moment, which is getting a bit, uh, a bit bumpy. I might go and see if I can catch him up there next. I must say it's another beautiful day over Coombe Mill. Just looks stunning everywhere. Such a shame that we're not sharing it right now. Anyway, Farmer Nick, where have you got to? Right, caught up with him. Here he is. And we've got gravel being scooped up into the trailer. I don't want that. And now it's off to fill in the holes along the path. That tractor will be a familiar sound to anybody who's used to the feed runs with us. There we go. And tipping it out onto the path. And that's Felix employed for the day. 
sweeping it across. I have to turn around and back and uh, that's going to be a few trips worth but it should be much easier on your cars coming up and down when you come back. of some interest um, who knows what next week will bring when um, hopefully we'll find out what's happening with restrictions and what's happening with those coming to see us in May uh, but uh, fear not if you haven't heard from me yet by email you will do and if you don't yet follow us on Facebook come and join us there just uh, at Coombe Mill. Stay safe, stay indoors, keep following government advice um, and make the most of your fresh air or exercise time for as long as we're illegally allowed to do it.